Here we got a PK Ripper Dragster. It has a Schwinn Slick in the back off of a Schwinn Stingray. Look at that tire. Ain't that, isn't that just beautiful? Man, I'll tell you what, you wouldn't think you could put a Slick on a, on a bike, on a PK Ripper, and it looks so cool. Well, I'm going to tell you a story on this. This has an aluminum shelled coaster brake hub. It has a Stormy Archer chrome one and one eighth sprocket. It has an Izuma gold and black chain. You cannot buy a more beautiful chain. Red line double pinch flight crank. A flight sprocket. PK Ripper frame. 2015-2016. Red line front fork. And that is a Shimano DX front hub. Look at that. An original Shimano DX hub. It's got uh, chrome plated spokes. Black brass nipples. Eastern freestyle rims, they're satin red. Front tires, the Tioga Power Block, 20 by 160. ACS headset. I'm not sure what kind of gold stem that is. I really can't remember. These are DK V-bars. Having a little bit of trouble focusing on whatever kind of grips those are. I got those off of Amazon. Uh, of course, I like the ACS top cap there. I'm not sure what kind of pedals these are. I bought them off Amazon, and I just bought them because they matched the bike. I wasn't. I was more about looks than. Another cool thing I got on here. It's an Eastern Bikes red bottom bracket. And it is really cool. Suspension zoom, suspension seat post, 27.2 seat post. So what happened was right here is a Honda valve cover spacer. You can go on Amazon and look up aluminum valve cover spacers for a Honda. And it'll come up with these. So I ordered them, got bought some stainless, I figured out what size bolt it was, bought some stainless steel bolts. And I just put this on here instead of the brakes because, you know, I can't get rid of that. And then right here, taking up this space, is just a couple of valve caps. And this is like eighth inch bungee cord. I just bought the cording. I tied a knot in each end and screwed the valve stems on. So you can actually take this out, you know, but it's in there really tight. I mean, it'll come out, but, and that's what I got taking up that space. So the story on the bike is that my buddy, David Guest, we started riding together, like when we were 12 or 13 years old, he didn't have a BMX bike, he had a Schwinn Sting type bike with a slick in the back and a coaster brake. He likes ride. He still rides with a coaster brake. So uh, we went to Bicycle Heaven and we was walking around in there. And he says, Chris, all I ever wanted was a PK Ripper frame with redline flight cranks, a Schwinn Sting Ray Slick in the front. And in the back. He wanted one in the front and in the back. It was approaching our 50th birthdays. So, I got online started looking for PK Rippers. And Planet Hollywood had PK Ripper frames on discount. So, I bought 11 frames. And I, the first one I built, I gave to David for his 50th birthday. And for coming up with such a hot 
amazing idea because this is like the sickest bike I've ever seen in my life. Now, David's bike has a slick in the front, which I'm planning on putting a slick on the front on this one, but they're hard to come by. So, if anybody's got some for sale at a reasonable price, not a cheap price, but a reasonable price, you know, let me know. I'd probably like to buy five or six of them. The ones I'm using are the ones that are made like in Taiwan that comes on the on the Schwinn's things they make now, they build now. None of these are USA made by Carlisle Rubber Company or nothing. So that's how David came up with the idea. So I built his bike first. And actually, I just ordered his, I only ordered one frame. I got it in and I started putting this bike together. And on Facebook Messenger, I found this Redline bicycle for sale. So I went, drove up into Pittsburgh and bought it. And it come, this bike came with this fork. It came with black Redline flight cranks, which are on David's bike. And the Redline also come with this seat, which I have on this bike. So I, he got used black cranks. And he also, there was a, a flight sprocket. So if you see David's bike, I'll put a picture on the cover on the thumbnail. His has a black Haro satin fork, freestyle fork, and a Schwinn slick in the front. And his bike looks so good. You wouldn't think a, the bike would look good with two slicks on it, but it does. It looks really good. So, and I've also got after I built this one. While I was building these two, I got the idea to build this one. And this is what I call, I call David's bike like a stock car. You know, it's got the two slicks on the front and the back. And it's like a stock car to me. But this one's what I call like the top fuel dragster. It has a inch and three eighths front rim and tire on the front. Schwinn slick in the back. Stormy Archer drum brakes, drum brake in the back. It's got a mini bike, KK and T chain, chrome chain with a ACS used to, I bought an ACS uh, free will for this chain. This chain size was popular a few years ago with this blackjack profile sprocket. I mean, it's not nothing new, but it's still rad. So I come up with this and I actually have two more PK Rippers built into dragsters also. And I'm going to do a review on them also, but in the near future. And the other big thing I got going on right now is I bought all three colors of the Mongoose Moto Mag 3s. But I only opened the black ones, and the black ones have a major flaw. Look at the threads on there. Those are unusable threads there's a bunch of balls like melted balls and stuff on there i don't know what happened i'm so disappointed and sad i love the wheels but there's no way you can put a free wheel on there and i suspect other people are having these problems too so if anybody knows what size die i need to buy to clean those threads up please by all means make a comment and if you've made it this far I appreciate all your time. I love these two bikes. And every time I just look at them, you know, it's kind of like looking at your Harley before you go to work. When you just walk by these two bikes, it puts you in a better mood.